Today, I'm gonna to give you some reasons why you need to start a YouTube channel for your business in 2023. And then later on, I will be giving you some tips and advice on how you can go about doing it. Look, I get it. There are so many different platforms you can market your business on right now. And it can be so overwhelming. There are three factors I consider when creating content. The first one is serving ideal clients. You need to be serving ideal clients in your content. Otherwise, it's completely useless. They're not gonna know you are the right person for them if you're not speaking directly to them by targeting their pain points. And also, if you're not showcasing your skills and your expertise in your videos or your content, then how can they know that you know your stuff? Number two, is it going to convert ideal clients into paying clients? Your content needs to convert. If it doesn't convert them, then it's completely useless. Because the whole point of you putting that content is to market your business so that people can know that you're the right person for them and so then they can sign up and work with you or buy your product or your service. If your content isn't doing that, then you need to work on it because what's the point of putting that content that's not making people give you money and say, yes, I need you in my life, please come help me. And then the third thing is repurposing. We are all different and we take in information differently. Some people would rather read a blog than watch a video. Some would rather listen to an, a podcast than read the blog. So you need to make sure that your content is repurposed into different formats so that you can reach a wider audience. Now that we have all that out of the way, we're going to talk about the reason why you need to start a YouTube channel for your business in 2023. So YouTube videos, apart from shorts, they can be long and in-depth. You can turn one video into a few shorts, short vertical videos that you can put on YouTube shorts, TikTok, Instagram. You can turn that long video into a blog by using the transcription software and you can extract the audio and turn it into a podcast. Remember we talked about repurposing? Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing right here from a one YouTube video. So in natural sense, all you're doing is doing the work once and then having different types of content that you can put on different platforms and reach more audience and reach more people and more chances of getting more clients another reason is youtube is a search engine and a social media platform a study that was done said that 2.1 billion active users are on youtube every single month 2.1 billion active users on youtube every month that is a massive pool of people that you can market to and yes i know what you're saying not every single one of these people are your ideal clients yes i know that okay but out of 2.1 billion you are bound to find at least 10,000 of them who are going to be your ideal clients and that's 2.1 billion every single month not having a youtube channel not uploading videos on youtube in actual sense you're doing yourself and your business a disservice video helps you build the no like and trust factor. People nowadays are more careful with how they spend their money and that is due to the rising cost of living, okay? So it's very important that you are putting yourself in a position where your ideal clients are finding you so they will know you, they're liking you and they're trusting you to want to work with you. As a business coach, life coach, mind mindset coach, or whatever types of coach you are, it's really important that people who choose to work with you trust you because they're gonna be telling you things about themselves and their business that they don't tell everyone, that they don't tell most people in their lives. So if they don't trust you, they're not gonna to wanna to work with you. Let's talk about the how-tos. When you're starting a YouTube channel for 2023, my number one tip is you need to start literally right now. This video is going out in November, 2022. You need to start right now and the reason for that is a lot of people who have a problem that they need help with are most likely doing the research now ahead of the new year if someone is looking to let's say start a business in 2023 they're going to be doing the research now how to start a business in 2023 so it's really important that your content your video is there ready before 2023 starts so for the people who are early birds and doing the research now, they can easily find you. And also you're getting ahead of your competitors. So they'll find you first and over time, by the time they're ready to invest, because they would, you, they found you first, they'll probably watch more and more of your videos as time goes on. You'll be the first person that comes to their mind when they're ready to invest in a business coach to help them start your business, when they're ready to invest in a relationship coach to help them have more 
meaningful relationships in 2023 whatever it is your ideal clients are struggling with so starting now is the best advice that I can possibly give you and as well as that you need to get clear on who you're serving okay you need to create an avatar for your channel your age where do they live their gender if that matters if location and gender matters you need to consider that what are they struggling with what are their interests once you're clear on this this would allow you to be able to speak directly to your ideal clients by targeting their pain points and it would also mean that no matter what format you repurpose your content to and what platform you upload your content on you are still speaking to the same person just by having an avatar for your channel or for your content another tip is don't waste your money buying fancy gears you do not need it i made this mistake in 2017 i bought a 500 year old camera and it did nothing for my channel and that is because the gear is not the problem it's not the reason why your channel isn't growing what's stopping your channel from growing is you and your content if you're inconsistent if you're not doing your research if you're not having conversations with your ideal clients and finding out what they need help with then how can you serve them if you're not taking the, this information for in your content and trying to speak to your ideal clients and serve them through your content, you're not going to have a successful channel and you're not going to make money in your business. It's as easy as that. I'm sure every single business owner knows this by now. So it's very important that you are putting in more time and money into yourself and your content, your marketing than buying fancy stuff. Yes, when you get to a certain point in your business, in your channel growth you can invest in a nicer camera lighting but it's not important at the very beginning but what do you need to start a youtube channel you do need something to record on and if you've got a nice phone that can film decent videos use it you need some lighting use natural lighting if you don't want to invest in artificial light i do recommend maybe getting a ring light to add to natural lighting especially if you live in places like england like I do, where one minute it's sunny and then all of a sudden the cloud just overshadows the sun and it's dark. Mic. You need a microphone to connect to your phone so people can hear you clearly. Now, I'm currently not filming this video with a microphone and that's because the microphone that I do have does not fit into my phone. So I'm going to have to buy another microphone that can fit into my iPhone because iPhone got rid of the headphone jack. Thank you, iPhone. You'd also need a laptop or a computer to edit your videos on. And that's literally it. That's all you need to start a YouTube channel in 2023. No fancy stuff. You need to be consistent on YouTube. You need to be consistent with your message, your branding as well. So your thumbnails, like when I see your thumbnail, I need to know that, oh yeah, this is this person because they all kind of look, they look similar in terms of brand, but they don't look identical. You need to work on your title and your thumbnail. These are the first two things that people see when they find your videos. They're not going to know how amazing your content is and how great you are on camera if your thumbnail and your title doesn't entice them to want to watch the video. The best way to have a title and thumbnail that works for your channel is to make sure it invokes emotion. Either that's making someone happy, excited, sad, angry, curious. Any types of emotion that you can think of, that's what your title and your thumbnail should be doing. Curiosity is the best one because if someone is asking themselves, why is this person saying this? What do they mean by this? What are they trying to show me in the thumbnail? They're going to click on the video to find out the answer. So it's very important that you work on your thumbnail and your title. Your thumbnail needs to stand out. It needs to fit your niche, but still stand out. And your title needs to speak to the human. So if you are a social media coach, having a title like how to increase your reach on Instagram, that is amazing. It's great. It has great keywords that will work well for SEO and YouTube would know, the algorithm will know what your content, your, your video is about, but it's boring. So however, if you have something that says, here's why your post isn't getting any reach and how to fix it, someone's going to click it because it's like, my post isn't getting any reach actually. And this person has a reason for it. They're going to click it. The next thing you need to also do is you need to make sure that you're approving every single video by 1% more than the previous one. Maybe the first video you just want to film and then put out the video, but then next time you could try a different editing style. You could try zooming in and out. You could try adding text. Maybe you could try filming a different location and see what works. You could try changing location in your videos and see what works. 
just so just improving it by one percent each time number seven don't give up i've had clients that for the first month of uploading videos they got an average of 10 views but then by the third month their, their average view per video went up to like 100 views per video but that goes to show that over time your channel does build up as long as you're being consistent and you are putting out content that your ideal audience and clients care about your video will improve your channel will grow over time so don't give up if something's not working go back to the drawing board do your research and find out why maybe ask your ideal client maybe ask someone who's an ideal client just give me some feedback about this video and tell me what you think I did right what did I do wrong and what can I improve on all of this would help you get better rather than thinking about giving up think about how can I become better so if you want to keep watching check out this video here and I'll see you over there bye